They, uh, they stem a lot, they move around, um, give, uh, give us some problems up front, but um, I think we're up for the challenge and we're excited for it. Is there anything different about their tape from the first few weeks? Their defensive coordinator left yeah. and had a new staff come in. Is there anything different on tape from the last couple weeks since that's happened? All this, our schemes are, are pretty much the same. Um, really, they just stem a little bit less, but personnel, schemes, everything is the same sticking to it. You did some leaping over a couple guys this last game. Uh, did you get any advice on whether or not to do that in the future? Uh, as long as I just keep the ball in tight and hold on to it and uh, and I get back on my feet the next right after the play, so I'll be good. Yeah. What did you what do you think you did this year to gain the trust of the coaching staff in these critical moments where you're the one carrying the ball? Definitely. I uh, really just trusted everyone, every coach on the staff, or trusted their word and just did as much as I can. Um, everything that they told, they've told me to do and uh, took the weight program seriously, um, conditioning, all that, and uh, really just got in my playbook. Um, more for me uh, this year was just being more comfortable out there. You've scored a lot of touchdowns before this, but what have the last three weeks been like, not just being on the goal line, but getting significant yeah. carries? Like it's, it's awesome. Um, I felt that I could kind of prove myself, um, that I could carry the ball outside the goal line. Um, it feels pretty good, but all touchdowns feel the same, so as long as we're up. chart says four guys even. What's it yeah. like in that room right now with the, the competition? Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of competition. Um, we're, we're getting after each other every day. I'm staying on Travis's head. He's staying on mine. Um, but coaches have us where we need to be. So. Coaches, coaches talked about how you guys go with the hot hand in, in a game like that. What do you do on the sideline before you get your number called? How do you stay ready over there? Stay hot. Really, just stay warm and, and uh, cheer all the guys. And I'm not just sitting on the bench, you know, I'm just cheering the defense on and really just stay loose and, and mentally prepare myself if my number's called. What's it like to have Panay blocking for you? It's amazing. Uh, we kind of have that Polynesian bond with each other. Um, he feels more like my little big brother uh, more, than, more than anything. But he's just a specimen. On film, we all see it, and uh, it's truly a blessing. Did you buy him a meal after that last uh, touchdown at Washington? I didn't buy him one. I actually had him over yesterday. My girlfriend, she cooked us dinner. And we had some mac and cheese, some grilled chicken. <laughs> it was good.